Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'd like to review for you a movie I just finished watching called Night of Something Strange. This is definitely a strange movie. It says here on the back, the new king of gross-out horror films. Now this movie is so weird. Uh, so it is. it does have a lot of gross-out things in it. Uh, just to start off the movie, there's a guy having sex with a corpse who was somehow exposed to radiation and turns into this zombie creature. <laughs> and and the, the, the zombie virus or whatever, it, you know, they don't really call it anything in this. Uh, can be transported in, in like so many different ways, you know, in the, in a lot of the zombie movies it's by being bitten, but in this one it can also be by having sex with them or possibly, I want to say one guy got blood in his mouth and that caused him to turn into a zombie, but I'm not positive if that's what happened or not. Um, so the guy becomes a zombie. Now these zombies, <laughs> like, it, instead of necessarily wanting to eat everybody, it seemed like sometimes they wanted to eat people, but then there's like one scene where the main one, he's like eating leaves, and it kind of, that part's kind of confusing. But it seemed like 75% of the time they just wanted to have sex with people, and 25% of the time they wanted to eat them maybe. So, so this guy goes around and he starts infecting people, and uh, you know, through, through coincidences or accidents or whatever, it's kind of moved to this... Uh, motel. Now, at the same time, there's this group of high school kids who are on their way to the beach. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where they are, where the beach is, but the beach is far enough away that they have to stop at a motel for the night. And, um, of course, they run into all these zombie sex addicts. <laughs> it's so weird to even talk about it. Um, so this movie is okay. You know, it's, it's not a terrible movie. It's not a great movie. But you have to really, like, the people who made this movie are, like, really out there. Like, this, <laughs> they have really sick sense of humor. I mean, there's, like, lots of really gross sexual jokes, um, you know, of course, involving body parts and actual sex and, you know, bodily fluids, menstruation, um... <sighs> I don't even know. Just lots of really, really gross stuff happens. So if you guys can can put up with all that, and and there is actually some humor in this. Like I, there are some parts I laughed at. It is a horror comedy. Um, if you can kind of put up with all that, it does have like this cool twist towards the end. Not I, it's not the ending. It's towards the end. Then it has another twist at the end. Um, I definitely like the first twist, and the second twist was okay, but. Uh, I think it's worth a watch if you can if you guys are horror low low budget horror fans and you don't mind all the really weird gross sexual stuff that happens. And the one thing is too like when you watch this movie like you see what they're going for and you're like okay, it's going to cut away and you're just going to assume what's happening. They never cut away. <laughs> they just keep going and going and going and going and you're like no, it's done and it just keeps going. Like it gets kind of ridiculous. But uh, overall, it's, it's definitely an all right movie worth watching. Um, I think for a score on this one, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I definitely like certain aspects of it, but I definitely felt like they took a lot of the scenes too far for my liking. But whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out the suggested videos, and I'll see you guys next time.